So burn victim, I guess, has an issue with this idea that, that food production, something so seemingly beneficial, could be responsible for um, creating such a, such a, a violent, unsustainable, destructive system called civilization. And, um, you know, that's, it's, what it is is that's the beginning. That's the foundation of the whole structure. Food surpluses, gigantic food sur surpluses. Um, once you have that, it's it's sort of a, a foregone conclusion that population is going to rise, and when population rises, you need more and more land to farm to produce enough food to support that population. And we're at a point now where there's simply we're, we're running out of room to farm, and we're running out of soil to farm on. You know, we're, we're planting the same crops in the same soil year after year after year, and we're soaking up all the nutrients, and we're not farming in a sustainable way anymore, because there's a difference between farming in a small-scale agrarian society than civilizational technologized farming where you farm for profit. You don't farm to eat. You farm to make a profit. And that is the, the key issue. That's the keystone that holds the whole thing together. That's what started this. And I don't know if we can pull the keystone out and watch the whole thing collapse. I don't know if that's the best way to go about this. We certainly need a change, but but the transition needs to be just as sustainable as the end result. And you know, I think what we need to do here is first get everybody on the same page as far as look, civilization as we know it, as this endless chain of of human progress to some utopian future or whatever. That whole idea we have to sort of toss out because that's never going to happen. It's it's a pipe dream. It's 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 a religion. And whether we call it Christianity or atheism or rationalism or capitalism, it's it's a religion and it's all based on progress. It's based on the idea that we can just keep on accumulating knowledge until finally one day we can just do and have whatever we want, but that's not realistic. We're part of an ecosystem. We're one teeny little organism, or we used to be, and now we're taking over the whole planet. But in reality, we are not in control of anything. A meteor could hit us tomorrow and wipe us out. The sun could flip out and send a um, magnetic uh, explosion towards the Earth and rip off the atmosphere. I mean, any day we could just be wiped out. We're not in control. And we, we can't act like we're in control and survive for very long. We've only been here acting the way we've been acting with the kind of technology that we've created and, and the type of warfare and, and the economy that we have now for a few hundred years and we're already on the brink of destroying ourselves. We've been here as a species for at least a few hundred thousand years and life on Earth has been here for billions of years and we're really at the brink of wiping it all out or at least causing um, you know a cataclysmic extinction event the likes of which the Earth has only seen before because of a meteorite impact. One species is now capable of destroying everything. And not only capable, but uh, it seems almost likely that, that we're going to go through with it because we don't know how to do anything else but wage war. We don't know how to do... We don't understand anything but conflict these days. Community and, and relationship and, and emotion mean nothing because all we care about is is money and engineering a new and more efficient machine to produce products at a higher rate so that the companies can make more money and that's supposed to I mean everybody every politician seems to think that the economy is the most important issue and as long as the economy is good then everybody's happy and safe and peaceful and we're making progress but that is such bullshit that I, I don't even understand why people still go for that what the hell is the economy so you know, a couple of stockholders are making money. What does that mean? We're still destroying the planet. People are still dying. 50 million people don't have health care. We're at war, you know, illegally killing who knows how many hundreds of thousands of Iraqis. And, and we're all concerned about the economy.
It's so short-sighted. It's so short-sighted. And that's the brainwashing, I guess. We're just so short-sighted. We can't see the bigger picture. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, maybe all the adults have to die, or all the, all the people that already believe that, 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 that capitalism and, and um, civilization as we know it today is the only way it can be. They have to die, and the younger generations have to be taught that there is another way. That might be the only legitimate solution that we have. I don't know what else to do, because walking away, to me, seems like it's going to lead to chaos, because we who want to walk away, we don't know how to f the fuck to live. We don't know how to farm, we don't know how to build our own shelter or find our own water, and there's no free land anymore. Where are we going to go? So this is a transition that's going to take a lot more work than just walking away. And I don't mean work as in the civilizational, you know, wage slavery. I mean work towards something new. We need ideas. We need to use all of our intelligence to live sustainably. We can't just emotionally reject something, even though we do need to get emotional about this issue. We don't need to just reject it and then think we're going to move on to some newer, brighter, better future, but we have nothing planned for ourselves. So, yeah.